Hey again, y'all. So it's 85 degrees here today in Michigan, and I am so excited, y'all. So excited. So, um, yeah, I'm about to go run some errands. And um, what are we doing today? Running errands. I'm still getting this room together, y'all. Figure out something to do with the carpet. this um extra room here yeah y'all so um we're gonna run some errands and everything i don't know if it's going to be in this vlog or the next vlog because i have a few things i want to share with you all in a diy and um it's a few things going on so without further ado let's get into it good day kings and queens so i'm gonna show you an easy way to make a gift basket for somebody, save your time and money and put your own creative stamp on it. Okay. Um, I'm in my basement, so when you see the little smudges and stuff, just know I'm doing projects. I <laughs> you know I've been doing projects down here. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, tip one kings and queens. Save the containers. Um, this was a gift from a Starbucks Christmas gift I had. I'm using this one. Because I know the um, person who's getting this gift favorite color is red. So keep that in mind. Also, pick you up some containers at the thrift stores or at the Dollar Tree. Next, you're going to need some cellophane. A lot of people told me they didn't know that Dollar Tree do carry the cellophane. The cellar wrap. So you can save tons of money. That's going to give you that professional look to finish off your basket. And I'll show y'all that as well. Now, for this particular basket, I don't need, you want to leverage it so it can pull out. That's how I do my baskets when I make them. But for this basket, I don't need leverage. I'm only going to need some fillers. You can also pick these up at Dollar Tree, Party City, your local stores. Um, I got tons of these, but I don't have no more red. So I'm going to use the white to fill. And also, you're going to need some type of ribbon to tie over the top to give it that professional look and um yeah, i got a little red left i hope it's enough if not i'll be using this red bow that i had in my stash so let's take this out put it to the side and let's start building this basket you are I also had this one too at first i was going to use this one but if i used this one i would have needed a riser what I mean by a riser so you can see the product, you can pick this up at, um, again, the Dollar Tree. <laughs> but if you can't find this size, you can pick it up at your crafting stores. But when I arranged the stuff, it wouldn't have fit. So I needed something wider. See how this one is wider? So that's why we're using this one. And I don't need that extra riser. So just a little tip for you. Um, I'm putting this in there the beauty book because this person love makeup so I tell them how to do it or whatever um so this is gonna have to sit you want however they turn the basket for the product to show so some stuff gonna be facing opposite of the others so like this for instance I'm gonna also put this in there too this is a makeup glow kit. But this one, I'm going to turn backwards because the size of the basket, that way when they spin a basket, they can see what it is. Now, I'm also putting these makeup brushes in there. Again, this is so tall in height, it has to go behind, facing opposite. You will see what I mean when I get finished. So when it stand up, you have a full panoramic view and everything is showing because you don't want to cover up any of the product of the basket, especially y'all who sell baskets. You want them to be able to see what's in there. And then the eye mask, I just put this in there because it goes with the, um, I guess the thing. <laughs> and I thought it'd be cute to add to the, um, this makeup basket. So I'm just gonna slide this in the bottom because I still want the eye face to show, but it might be tricky with this basket 
because it has, as you see, when I lift it up, it goes down. So it might, even though it's gonna be cellophane, that's why you wrap your baskets. Um, it's gonna cover up some of the beautifulness of the card. So I might have to turn it this way. Yeah, actually that worked better because it, let's see, you just gotta play with it. Yeah, it'll work better because then you're covering up all the words on the back. They can see that it's an eye mask, especially if you're selling them. Now, so when they turn it this way, they can see the product. And when they turn it this way, they can see the product. Now, since I want it to stand up a little bit better, just a little bit, it can have a little wing. That's when my filler is gonna come in. And also, I don't want all that negative space. What I mean by negative space, it just look like nothing is there and something's supposed to be there. That's what they call negative space. You don't want that. Okay. So wherever you see the negative space, I'm gonna put filler. Just use whatever kind of filler you have, you know. Anything to get rid of that negative space, it just makes the basket look so much more well thought out. You know. So I'm also going to put some of the filler in the back to give it a little more, make it more cohesive. What I did on the front, I also did on the back, on the right and on the left, just so it could look more balanced. I mean, it's not the best, but it do go with the concept of looking more put together and polished. And you just gonna add enough just so it can um, sit it up. Now, since I have a little bit of red left, I'm gonna put a, the little spruce of red throughout it. You'll see. So now I have it centered. I put enough so it can center in the front and back the way I want it to. I'm gonna give y'all a tip. So it's centered now. If you want this, the beauty book with the makeup in it to show and peek out, you could put a little bit of cellophane under the bottom and it'll rise it up. That way they can see it like that as well. But you will have to cut it depending on the size of your container you're using. Okay, now I have the cellar wrap. You want to censor your cellar wrap so you can have an, a whole bunch at the top, enough on both sides to play with it. So as you can see, I'm going to cut it to about, and I'll fix the camera so you guys can see it, to about here. Okay, so I can have enough. That way I'll have enough to um to play with. So basically I just cut it. There's another kit tip, kings and queens. When you gather it, use a zip tie or a pipe wire or one of those little fasteners. You don't want to use a rubber band because it can pop on you and then it'll unravel before you put your bow together. Another tip, y'all see all of that paper I used and I've done this before and it still didn't quite gather up so you had an open space. Make sure you have some clear tape available because it's clear, you can close it up wherever you had an open space and that way you can make sure nothing's gonna get into it. That's where my little piece of tape will be to make sure that it's secure. Okay, y'all, it'll show better when I switch the camera around. Um, so I hope I have enough. Like I said, you all could pick these up at the Dollar Tree, I love them. Yay, it's gonna be enough so I could put the glitter on or should I do the um satin one, y'all? I don't know, I think I might do the glitter one just because it's not a lot left, but it's enough for this basket. So let's see. 
uh, yeah, it'd be enough for the basket. So you could just tie your however you like, depending on how much ribbon I have. Tie my knot first to kind of cover up the um the black tie mark. And um it might be a small bowl. But hey, a bowl is a bowl, right? So yeah, let's just play with the bow. But I want it to be a pretty bow. So let me see. Okay, so. I like kind of like you tie your shoe, but I want to leave some edges out. So it could fall down like real glam or whatever. Let's see y'all. Uh, I wish I had more of this ribbon, but it's still gonna get the effect of the type of bow that I want. Yeah, it's come along, y'all. I might have to secure it so I won't lose the extra at the end. So basically what I'm doing is, you'll see in a second, I'm trying to tighten it up so it won't come loose, but I also want it secured. So when I cut the little edges off, it could be easy. Okay, here it is, you all. So I just poofed up the top just to make it look a little more grand. And um, I just gave the bow a little volume there. I don't know if y'all can see that because it's sheer. See, see the bow? And I pushed this down. I just made it even on both sides so it could look cohesive. But usually if you have enough ribbon, make your bow big enough to, to um, fit from this end to that end. But yeah, I think it turned out cute. And let's see if the back shows the product. That's my main concern. Yep. And they can fully see the product in the back. That's what I wanted. Okay, so y'all, another basket we're going to build. Y'all know I love doing baskets. And this person um, has a new home, and I just want them to feel special. So we just going to build this basket. You know, what would they need for their home? Laundry basket. Get this out, um, off of Amazon. And, um... Uh, this basket is a semi-budget friendly basket. Um, what else would they need? Um, a tile set. This is just, you know, the whole tile set with like the big tile, small tile, washcloth. You know, something to start them off with. So we're going to just sit that up there like that. And um, this here, you know, to support a business, it's a lady that make candles that I support. And I had a few, so I want to bless somebody else. This is a money and prosperity candle, the seven day candle. You know, a person need that for their home in case the power go out. And baby, this person, you in Michigan now, <laughs> our lights go out a lot. So we're going to lay that down flat so it won't get broke. One of those extended candles. And then you all, you can uh, be budget friendly. Dollar Tree, get a mattress cover for their bed. In case they have kids that wet the bed or grandkids or they just want to keep their, you know, their mattress nice and I guess, you know, so no spills and stuff. You can also pick this up at the Dollar Tree. Um, of course, they're going to need some dish soap. This is another Dollar Tree. Hot and fresh stick will make their home smell good. Y'all know I love these. Y'all shocked Dollar Tree sell these. Check out my Dollar Tree hauls on my Love is the Main Key page. You know, you can get two washes out of this for their laundry. Laundry goes to laundry basket. So, depending on if they have guests, you know, new home people come over, put them a little eye mask in there in case the light is bothering them. And since that's blue, let's do the blue socks in case their home is drafty. Yeah, just out of the blue, they'll be shocked. Probably wasn't even thinking about it. And we're gonna just lay it down. Put some food. Okay, kings and queens, here's a little tip. Put the, um, you know, the dish detergent in a bag, just in case if, if it spills. You don't want it to spill over everything. Um, 
So you see how we had a negative space again? You know, wherever you see negative space, just put filler. And this is a surprise anyway, but if you're actually making this as selling it, you're going to, of course, lift it up even more. So I'm not going to use the white one because white on white, they can't really see it. So what other colors I have in here? I have purple and pink. A little bit of blue at the bottom. Now that blue will work because I have blue over there. But it's not enough blue to fill in this negative space. So I guess I'm going to go with the purple. I got enough purple just to fill in a negative space. Okay, so the filler too is just to let them know you intentionally thought about them. Kings and queens. You know, just to add a little, little something to it. And they never would have thought about it. Bala boom, bala bing.